With the recent speculation of Carmelo Anthony going to Houston, and by the time he sees he may have already signed there, many people are wondering how Melo and Houston will work out. Houston have just recently lost Trevor Ariza, their starting small forward of the 2017-2018 season, are in desperate need of someone at this position. The Rockets are hoping Carmelo Anthony can be the man and help him beat the Lakers and Warriors and win a championship. Hello, this is SD and let's get into the video. My eye test, the Rockets have a glaring at the small forward position and it's not off to say Carmelo Anthony is an above average small forward at this point in his career at minimum. Melo is a good scorer and it looks like he could possibly help their offense. Since Melo is going to receive $28 million from the Hawks after being bought out, he is willing to take the minimum and join the Houston Rockets. This is a great deal for Houston financially since they're going to be paying way into the luxury tax after we signed Clint Capella. For this move to be considered a success, he has to have a bigger impact on the court than Ariza did and bring more team success than he did. Darrell Moore is good at finding players and making things work out, but this deal may look better on paper than it is going to work on the court. Let's take a deeper look at the two and compare them. The Rockets want a run and gun system on offense with a lot of ball movement to get shooters open for open 3 point shots. Melo is a good spot up shooter and has roughly the same stats as Ariza on catch and shoot threes. Last season Melo took 5.1 of them a game and hit 1.9 of them on average. This means he was shooting about 37.2% on 3 point shots on catch and shoot opportunities. Ariza had very similar numbers shooting 5.7 catch and shoot threes a game and hitting 2.3 on average. He has slightly better percentages though shooting 39.4%. All of Ariza's catch and shoot opportunities came from behind the arc, so he had a higher effective field goal percentage of 58.5%. Melo on the other hand took shots from inside the arc, so he shot a total of 6.7 catch and shoot shots a game and hit 2.6 of them. This leaves him to have a slightly lower effective field goal percentage of 53.4%. Although Ariza's numbers are slightly better, the Antoni system will limit the amount of inside the arc shots Melo will be able to take. This means he could possibly match or exceed the amount of efficiency that Ariza brought to the table. Even though Melo would be better as a spot up shooter, he's going to want the ball in his hands and score off the dribble. He has a tendency to do this and he probably will do it in Houston. He shoots about 41% off the dribble and shot 8.3 per game only hitting 3.4 of them. From behind the arc he's only shooting about 30% but he only took less than 1 per game so it's not really valid. Ariza on the other hand took a lot less shots per game off the dribble but he shot better with 43.6%. He shot about 3.9 shots per game off dribble and hit about 1.7 of them. Now Ariza also doesn't count for off the dribble threes because he shot about 1.2 of them per game but he did shoot a lot worse only shooting 17% so Melo is a definite upgrade from there. But Melo is about the same as Ariza off the dribble because they barely have a good efficiency and also they don't shoot many threes so it's not really going to benefit in Houston's system. So in order for Melo to succeed he's going to have to sacrifice and play off the ball but Melo isn't much of a passer either so it's not really going to benefit him playing off the bench and being a scorer because he only has about 1.3 assists per game last year and 3.0 assists throughout his whole career per game. So unless Chris Paul and Harden are off the court, he really shouldn't be touching the ball too much off the dribble, he should be limited to more of a catch and shoot role. Ariza brought really good defense to the table for the Rockets and this was necessary in order to compete with the team such as the Warriors. And in order to beat them, they need to play really good defense and that's where they thrived on. But losing Ariza means they lost a good defender. Ariza had a box plus minus on the defense and the quarter point seven, which is above average to good. Now bringing Melo in you think would probably bring it down and it does. He had a negative 1.9 meaning he's struggling. Now this has been consistent throughout his career so it's not much of a surprise here. And this probably is because of the lack of effort and engagement and how much he's doing on the offensive side of the court and how much his interest is there. Now, in order for him to succeed in Houston, he's probably going to end up having to take a bigger defensive role, but D'Antoni can hide him and let PJ Tucker take the opposing teams forward unless it's a really big uh, athletic mismatch. So he could probably get hit in there. Now carrying on with the advanced metrics, Ariza was more efficient all around except for player efficiency range. Now player efficiency man Melo is better and this proves that maybe because the other stats are because Ariza was both Harden and Paul and the chemistry gelled a lot better than Westbrook, George, and Melo did. So bringing Melo in and with this great relationship with Chris Paul, it'd probably be able to lead to a better offense and Melo's efficiency will raise bank, maybe not back to the New York levels but better than what he did with OKC. So this could be a definite plus for the offense to end and maybe defense it won't be as bad as the loss as I think it will be. All in all though, I think this Melo to Houston deal might end up working out just because of the offensive boost he brings him, even though he loses a little bit on defense. I think PJ Tucker, if he can take a bigger role in the defense and the core, this might end up working out and they can get somebody who's a little bit bigger and mobile to guard players like Kevin Durant. Otherwise, they're going to have trouble against teams like the Warriors or Lakers having to guard against LeBron or and Kevin Durant, but those guys really can't be defended either way. So, for what they're paying from a minimum deal and they're saving about $13 million, this is a pretty good deal because... 
Ariza was paid a lot more than he needed to be and like I think Ariza at max should have got 10 million so this is a pretty good deal and I think the Rockets might be able to match it I don't know if they're gonna still be the best team in the West and we'll see how it works out but thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe and hit the bell get notifications when I post I'm out